Thank you, Stevie Lowe. Into Delaware on the Delaware Thunder YouTube channel. My this evening, as your Delaware Thunder take on the Binghamton Black Bears. Starting they'll set around number six and number 33 it'll be just Nikita Ahmed, back on Troy Murray, and number 27, Kyle Powell. And we are back now. Zone taken away by Nikita Quite the season thus far, early for the Binghamton Black Bears, and he looks to start in front. Centering pass never got there. Down behind the net was J.C. Moritz as Morgan starts out the other way. He gave it away to Powell, and it's Murray far side of the ice. Murray spins it around Ryan Marker, and that's Sam Olesi. As the Delaware Thunder faithful start the Let's Go Thunder chant. First time we've heard that this season. It was a bit rough on the half. It makes his first save on a shot from the point that he has absolutely no problem with. Far side of the ice, it's Murray again. He chips it in deep. Ivechkin behind the net with it. Takes a bump from McNally. Stays with it. Dropped it off one more, but a good play by Adam Morgan to take the puck away from Olesi. And now it's Asselin. With the icing. But looks for space. Morgan wasn't available, and he gave it away right at that half wall. Wild. Neutral zone. Here comes the Black Bears the other way. This is Brett Parker. His shot steered away by Trevor Babin. Adam Morgan out the other way. Works it to Noah Wild, the Long Island native. Wild, left wing side, gains entry. Near half wall, looks for space. Out to the point. Tried to go to Brady Hanson. Got right. Far side. Yeah. The Delaware Thunder as that puck's chipped nearly out of play. Taking a bump on the play with Liam Little. Got the right. Hit a back. Pass. Well and icing. Quick start for the Delaware Thunder. A couple good chances, and you kind of see the skill of Shane Morrissey there. Morrissey with a good, good play to put the puck in front of the net. Face off will be to the right. Had Dion at the far point. Now it's Cangelosi just getting the blue end, chipping it right back in. Puck comes out through center and all the way back into Thunder Ice. That's Hansen with it. Hansen goes cross ice. Dale Dion, one of the few veterans on this Thunder team, as he ices the puck. Thunder High. Brought to you by the Face off to the left. Just 1.43 into play. Face off pulled back by the Black Bear. Shalafu tries to go forward with it. Lost it to Alakin and Cangelosi kicks it back out through the neutral zone. Cangelosi has for the Thunder as it comes out to another new face in this Thunder lineup. That's Tom Bell. Might have got a piece. Buck comes around to the far, far wall. Eric Oganezov shot wildly goes wide. And Powell has to retrieve in the neutral zone. All the way back into Bingham tonight goes Kyle Powell. Moves it to Yellowney. Now up the near side of the ice. Eric Oganezov chips it into Thunder Ice. This is from last night. He gets the start tonight with Joe Brennan. A scratch this evening. Morgan was streaking through the neutral zone. Pass never got to him. He would have been free. Yeah. Trust and poke it to the corner. Bit of a chuck. Works it out to Adamo Asselin. Shot from Marker went high. Near side. Delaware breaks out once again. This is Adam Morgan. Morgan chips it through the offensive zone. Give it away there to Igor Nosov. 
Nosev through the offensive zone, right wing circle, fires a shot, Babin with the quick glove, knocks it down and makes the save. Face-off will be to the left. Little pulls the face-off away. J.C. Moritz meets Olesi behind the net. Newberg in front, wanted it, never got there. And Olesi tries to get it to him. Three, four defenders in black. Moritz knocks him off the puck as it rolls to the corner. Nick McNally picks it up behind the net. Leaves it off for Liam Little from Watertown, New York. Delaware picked him up after game number one of the regular season. Newberg took a spill in the neutral zone. He appears to be a bit shaken up. That right arm, he's going to go to the bench as McNally picks it up behind the net. Just under four minutes into a scoreless first period, J.C. Moritz breaks it out through the neutral zone, chips it right up where it could have came from up here in that broadcast booth. Now the puck's chipped out of play, and they'll say hand pass anyway. So we'll have a neutral zone faceoff. Tyler Becker slams his stick a couple times on the way to the bench. Got a lot of contest. You don't want to get on their bad side early. And they are not happy with him. Face off one to Dale Dion in the neutral zone, and he chips it far side of the ice. Adamo Asselin in after it. It's worked up the near side to Brooks. Had quite the game in Binghamton the other night as this one goes all the way down for an icing and that choppy first period continues. The Thunder Pack in full force tonight. Face off to the right of Newberg. It's Marker in the right off the draw. Here comes by Dale Dion and goes up into the protective netting and out of play. The choppiness to period one continues. Face off will be to the left. There's Brandon Luke. Lucchese wins it back. Hansen bumps his man off the puck. Puck stays in the corner. And after it is Dale Dion. Dale Dion on the right. Cangelosi tried to knock it down. Puck stays deep in Thunder Ice with of Trevor Babin. Cangelosi right wing side. Continues to hold, throws a shot from an off angle, and Shepard makes the save. Now it's out with Brandon Lucchese. Lucchese threw it off the backhand of Dale Dion, and the back. Now Lucchese picks it up. Over the way to Nosev there, and out the other way is Parker. Taking a bump there was Peterson. That's Jens Peterson, the newest addition to this Black Bears team. Peterson moves it behind the net. Now they start out with Brandon Beard. Brandon Beard playing as the 10th forward this evening for the Delaware Thunder. Taking a bump there was Yellow Knee. Beard threw the hit. Puck ends up behind. That's Tim Payne. That you see. As the Delaware Thunder continue to improve, improve on their roster in this young season. Just past the five minute mark. Next break will be our media timeout. So we'll take a short break here. As this one's chimped back in over the stick of Payne. Neither team with a real dangerous scoring opportunity yet this evening as we're scoreless. Buck comes out to the blue line, knocked down there, and now it's behind the net with Payne. Payne looks for space as he's picked off in the corner. Picked off and slid down to the ice was Payne as he moves it through. Now the puck comes out to the point. Bouncing puck juggled there, and the shot is well wide, and it's picked up by McNally behind the net. McNally, left wing side, gains the entry to the blue line and gave it right away to Ogunazov. 
Oganesov shot from well out, steered away by Babin, and Delaware looks to break out the other way. Pass was in the skates of Shane Morrissey. He couldn't start the breakout. Has McNally in the corner. And now the gains entry to the offensive zone. Fired a shot. For McNally. Coach Pat. Looks like they're both going to go fight. We'll sort things out as we take a break here. 13.41 to go in period one. We'll be back. Back here for Delaware on the Delaware Thunder YouTube channel. Working on the microphone issue as we speak here. After the McNally versus McAlee fight, we'll still skate five aside. One back to Kyle Powell. His shot goes wide. And it's picked up by Adamo Asselin at the far half wall. He overskates. Brady Hansen helps him, gets it only as far as the blue line, though. Buck sit right at that blue line, and there's Ryan Marker, been quiet through the first few minutes of this contest. Buck behind the net. It's J.C. Moritz for the Delaware Thunder. Banged up last game here. Nikita, and it's one up. It's a simple play by Olesi, Corral the bouncing puck, centering pass, right on the tape of Nikita Ivichkin, and for the Thunder, that's the last guy you wanted on the stick of. 1-0 Black Bears. Ivechkin makes it 1-0, as we're back under play here. Delaware was of a hit on Van Busen. We're going to get a cross check on Dion. That's a bit surprising. Get a cross check. Nothing too bad out of that we saw here. Has he'll sit in the box for two here. Two minutes of power play time up for the Binghamton Black Bears. As they look to work with Kyle Powell. Powell moves it over, and they set it up with Borshev. Borshev behind the net. Never seen by Babin. Luckily goes wide. Noah Wild on this penalty kill. Quite the aggressive penalty killer. Shot from the point. Blocked on the way through. Sits in the blue. Pit. But already blown. And the Thunder will take exception to that. Delaware, not too happy with the shot after the whistle. 
as nothing will come of it penalty wise but just some happy unhappy I should say Thunder players face off one back by the Thunder drop blocked by JC but it's right back Oh my, a couple good chances in front. Delaware sloppy on the PK early here with 117 to play. This is Parker out of the corner with it. Goes back to where it came from. Spinning and turning with it is Igor Borshev. A lot of time on the point for Kyle Powell. His shot through traffic goes wide. Was looking for a friendly stick. Didn't find one. Parker out to the point to Murray. Murray cross ice got Powell. Powell, far side, walks the blue line. Looks for space, goes cross ice now. Good puck movement by the Black Bears. All minute 10 so far spent in Delaware ice. They continue to circle. It's Borshev, down low. Right to the Bears. One that Trevor Babin would most definitely like to have back as the Black Bears make him pay right through the wickets. It's 2-0. Black Bears lead the Delaware Thunder now 2-0 with 11.50 to go in period number one. Marker and his top line come back out. Now if you do recall back to the home opener, Delaware was up 2-0 and blew that lead. Delaware looks to have the same fortune now as they are down 2-0. They'll look to come back. Aslan's centering pass was given away as this one's flipped nearly up into the press box. I was ready for it. One hand out, just waiting to accept the feed. Like Cooper Cup this year if you're an NFL fan. Buck behind the net. It's Adamo Aslin who picks it up far side of the ice. Chipped out through the neutral zone. Marker's waiting for it. Tried to stick left. No sev. No No Go back into the offensive zone. It was a pass. Black Bears. Now it's Chalavu. Plays it behind the net. Tim Payne far side of the ice. And it's Ryan Marker. Marker, right wing side, working on Nosev. Got by Tapped away by Morgan and covered. It's a good save by Shepard as he went post to post on the speedy marker. Face off will be to the right of Joe Shepard. Liam Little. Oh, let this out of two nothing game. JC Moritz looking at the bench. He appears to be in some discomfort. Thunder trail this contest two nothing. Pull back to the point by Trevor Babin. Olesi tipped the shot towards the net. Bell's going to get to it at the near half wall. Bell through the neutral zone, takes a bump into the Thunder bench. Josh Newberg's into offensive ice. Newberg's cross ice pass was looking for Olesi, but he wasn't there to receive the feed. Now it comes out once again to Ivichkin. Walks right. Skates and Moritz and goes wide. That's now. Okanezov takes a bump after the play. It's a slash with 10-14 to go in period number one. It's going to be a slash, so the Thunder will be short for another two minutes. And the slash is in Delaware. It'll be little on the slash room for Ivichkin. Face off to the left of Trevor Babin. Comes out to the point to Tyler. 
Powell, Powell, Powell. And he works it the length of the ice. Puck spun around. That's Kyle Powell. Powell now plays it behind the net to Becker. 9.49 to go in the period. 1.33 to the power play. Kyle Powell cross ice. Got it to Ivichkin. Now it's Olesi. Olesi through the neutral zone. Works it over to Kyle Powell. Powell good game to knock it down and clear up the near side of the ice. Again, two sloppy plays by the Black Bears that result in the puck going the length of the ice. Binghamton now breaks out of their own end with number 18, Igor Borshev. Borshev had a couple points last Saturday night when these two teams met. Borshev gains entry, right wing side, works it through to Powell. Powell chips behind the net. Moritz lays a bump on Borshev, but he moves the puck to Parker. Parker out of the corner. Back to Borshev. Marker picks it up in the corner and chips it only as far as the blue line, but it came out to Shane Morrissey. Morrissey moves it to Moritz. Moritz through the neutral zone, sends it the length of the ice, and Shepard knocks it down behind his own net. Dangerous play. Right in the blue paint for a second. Miscommunication on the Black Bears' part that nearly led to a shorthanded goal that would have flipped this game on its head. Tim Payne ties up in the corner with Jens Peterson, one of the newest additions to this Black Bear team that we talked about. Tim Payne tries to clear the length of the ice, banks it off the boards, and only gets as far as Murray. Murray with a good play, had a stick tied up, kicks it through, and then Morrissey clears it the length of the ice as the power play expires. That's an impressive kill by the Thunder. Let's see if that could get them going here. Mark comes all the way around to the near half wall to Murray. Murray moves it to Shalafu. Shalafu behind the net looks for space. And he starts out into the neutral zone, but he gave it away to Ryan Marker. But the puck kicked off his skate and ends up behind the net. Now it's Murray behind his own net. Starts out right wing side as Shalafu chips it into the neutral zone. Yep. Good change of pace by Dale Dion as he starts out the other way. Morgan couldn't control the pass, and Yellow Knee has it behind the net. Now looking out in front of the Black Bears, but Dale Dion knocks down the centering pass that was intended for number 95, Gino D'Angelo. Little tried to feather a pass through to Ryan Marker, never got there, and the puck comes back into Binghamton Ice. 7.20 to play in period one. Black Bears leading your Delaware Thunder 2-0. They'll try the near wall, now go far side, but Brady Hansen knocks it down. Smartly plays it to himself. And just has to dump it in. Looked at the linesman to say, you might have got a piece of that. To the net as his shot was blocked. Now his centering Danny Cangelosi never got there. Shot was blocked. And we have a I believe this is on when we return, more Thunder Hockey in a power play. Back here, Delaware Thunder Professional Hockey. Delaware Thunder YouTube channel. It's Josh Newberg to the box for a hook. As we try and figure out our issue here with the audio. Have it worked out, hopefully by intermission. First game, it was too low. This game, it was too loud. You know what that means, Sue? By the third game, it'll be perfect. Sue does the camera here in Delaware. Such a phenomenal job. Our team over Delaware Thunder. Smarker pulls the face off back to Dion. Dion shot through traffic. Shepard saw it the whole way and just watches it float wide. Marker picks it up at the near half wall. Marker out to the point. Dale Dion. Dale Dion now works it over to Shane Morrissey. Morrissey back cross ice. Ryan Marker. 
Parker picks up the puck near side of the ice. Good move around Parker, and he works it down low to J.C. Moritz. Moritz off, and Shepard just covers. Faceoff will be to the right of Shepard, who has been phenomenal once again tonight. I think the Delaware Thunder have seen more than their fair share of Joe Shepard. Might have the audio fixed here. As the puck rolls behind the net. It's J.C. Moritz with it. He gave it away, looking for Ryan Marker, and the puck comes back out to the neutral zone. Nikita Ivichkin, shorthanded, always dangerous. Walks by Morrissey. Puck rolls behind the net. Now it's Becker, shorthanded, just throws it to the four corner, takes a bump from J.C. Moritz. As the horns get loud here in Delaware. Dale Dion with a minute five to the power play. Starts out, drop pass Shane Morrissey. Morrissey takes a hack on the hands, play on as he gains entry to the offensive zone. Morrissey dips and dives his way to the offensive zone. Got it to Morgan. Morgan cross ice pass Marker. Marker goes behind the net. J.C. Moritz over skates. And the puck comes all the way through and around. Shane Morrissey got it back to the point. Dale Dion. Dion. Morgan in front. Time, space. Oh, what a save by Shepard as he got the pad on it. It's banked home by Ryan Marker. And it's 2-1. The net popped off. Binghamton will have something to say. Becker throws the net over. And the refs won't be happy about that, but it's 2-1 Delaware, and Ryan Marker scores the goal. Not surprising it's Ryan Marker at home in front of the home crowd. Two to one, the Thunder get one back. Shepard's not happy as the net came off. Becker's not happy as he took the net even further off. But it's still 2-1. Marker with an absolute beauty. And the Thunder are back in this one. Lucchese in the dot with Igor Borshev. So it looks like we figured out our audio problems right as Ryan Marker scores. And Cangelosi breaks back out, right wing side, off the uh, linesman. Up high, he appears to be okay. Luckily, Cangelosi didn't put much on it, but that hit him up high. He popped right back up, no problems. Dale Dion, out of his own zone. We'll get the call from our PA announcer. It's Marker on the goal at 14.45 of period one. Lucchese through the neutral zone. Got it to Cangelosi. Big shot off the stick of Joe Shepard. And the Thunder got some life out of the power play goal. Not surprising. Here comes Murray. Just staying on side was Parker. Shot bounces in and out of the glove of Trevor Babin. And here's Lucchese trying to break out of his own zone danger. So Lee McNally fresh out of the box after the five for fighting. Out through the neutral zone, and a shot comes through from D'Angelo, and it's swallowed up. Take immediate timeout. We'll be back in a jiff. Back here for Delaware Thunder Hockey on the Delaware Thunder YouTube channel, DelawareThunder.com. Once again, a big shout out to Sue Lamb, who's been absolutely phenomenal tonight. Fixed the audio issue during the game, pretty impressive. And we got the camera at high quality this evening 
Dave Garson will be back next time to join us as well. Ryan Marker cut the lead to one. It's a 2-1 hockey game in Delaware. Face off to the right of Trevor Babb, and it's pulled right back to Yellow Knee for a shot. That's right into the crest of Trevor Babin. J.C. Moritz and Shalafu have a couple words. Those two not happy. Shalafu was the one who gave that bump to J.C. Moritz. That sent him to the locker room on the home opener. Another good crowd tonight here in Delaware. The faithful love this team. Hansen's pass dangerously to J.C. Moritz, but it finds him, and the Bucks tailmates in the neutral zone as Yellowney moves it through to Shalafu. Shalafu with the shot, rebound, Powell. Oh, what a save by Babin, but they tap home the rebound, and it's 3-1. Bodies everywhere in the defensive zone. Binghamton makes some play. It's Gino D'Angelo, 3-1 Black Bears. Babin made two impressive saves. The third one gets by him, and it's 3-1 Bears. Faceoff will come back to center ice. Six skaters on for the Black Bears here. They quickly make that five before the official has anything to say about it. Alec and Clan clear. Becker moves it through to Borshev. Dion with a good defensive poke check. And now Becker just flips one on the net. And Babin dangerously knocks that back down. Doesn't seem like he's seeing the puck as good as he did the first couple games he started. Made some big saves tonight, but the one that goes through the wickets and that rebound, I'm sure Trevor would like to have back. As he makes a good save there on Borshev as the shots continue to come. And I will say about Trevor Babin, he's the first one to the rink every morning. And stretching has a great routine, hard worker, one of the last ones off the ice as well. And it really shows in his game early in this season. I know you look at the stats, they don't tell the story for this kid, Trevor Babin. He's been phenomenal in net for the Delaware Thunder. Made 93 saves last weekend. That's a tall task to put on your goaltender. And Trevor Babin kept the Thunder in two games last weekend. Now out of the defensive zone are the Black Bears. They gave it away to Cangelosi. He couldn't finesse it through the neutral zone and ends up right back in Thunder Ice with 3.26 to play. Cangelosi threw his legs in the neutral zone. That'll be an icing. He was well behind the blue line. The official was saying no. The linesman said nothing. And they're going to call it at center ice. The linesman doesn't have much to say. He'll just have to agree. Three twenty-one to play in the first period. Delaware Thunder hockey on the Delaware Thunder radio network. Payne in his own zone moves it out to Adamo Aslan. It's a three-on-two if they hurry. Aslan, Marker, Morgan. Cross ice pass to Morgan, intercepted by Becker. And now out the other way is Nikita Ivichkin. Ivichkin gets around J.C. Moritz, and the backhander save. Rebound was left in the slot, but never got through. And now it's Nikita Ivichkin again to Newberg. Newberg out from behind the net, save Babin. Rebound, he got it as well. Now Becker to the net, and Babin swallows that up. Back to back to back saves for Babin. As he keeps it a 3-1 game. Here's Morrissey with Little and Wild. Delaware looking to avoid an 0-5 start. Off the back of Morrissey, played through the neutral zone, was looking for Noah Wild. Pass eludes him, but finds the stick of Liam Little. Liam Little, right wing side, gains entry on his backhand and flips one all the way across the ice to the far corner. Shot tipped on net by Wild. Centers one right back out that came back to him and stays behind the net where Oganezov starts out. Eric Oganezov with some room out of his own zone. Got it to Peterson. Wild gets pushed from behind from Oganezov, and he's down behind the play as Babin swallows up a shot from Brett Parker. Noah Wild not happy with Oganezov in the neutral zone. And Oganezov and Wild are going to drop him. 
more of a just a hold on fight by Okanazov and Wild. It's a shot from behind by Okanazov. Wild didn't like it. It looks like they're both going to go. Behind the play, Oganezov knocked down Wild. That might be what they get him for. We'll sort this out with 2.22 to go in the period. Morrissey, the one waiting to see what will get squared away here. The Mission Barbecue Shootout in between periods. We await that. We'll call a young fan out from the crowd. If you can get to the Thunder game, you got to do so. Absolute electric atmosphere here at the Thunderdome tonight. Sorting the penalties out below us. I think it should be squared away, but it looks like Wild's going to get the extra two. Thunder not going to be happy with that. The initial hit came from Oganezov. Or is Wild going to get the only penalty out of this? Right now, the only penalty up on the board is the Noah Wild rough. I should say double minor for a rough. He's got four minutes up there. Coach Penn's looking for the call here. And they're getting it squared away, and it looks like it's going to be a double minor on Noah Wild, and that's it. We're waiting to see a penalty go up on the Black Bear side, but we're not going to get one. The only penalty to come of this is the four minutes to Noah Wild. And this could put Delaware in a big hole. Wait to see if we can tell you what he got the extra two for. My guess is just a double minor for the rough, but not too sure. I agree with that call. Oganezov put him down from behind behind the play after the whistle yes I think it should have been two and two but Binghamton gets a four minute power play out of this and Murray gains entry to the offensive zone Murray to Powell back to Murray they work the near side the far side of the ice I should say Brady Hansen forces a turnover had Morrissey leaking out of the defensive zone pass well above him and Shepard just chips it by Morrissey and gets it to Kyle Powell Powell starts out of the defensive zone, banks it behind the net where it's picked up by Parker. Now Peterson moves it through. That's one more to Troy Murray. Troy Murray through the neutral zone, picking up speed, now slows down as he gains entry to the blue line. Dropped it off for Nosev, and now it's Borshev. Borshev cross-ice pass, gets it across to Brett Parker. Parker now goes behind the net. That's Jens Peterson. Peterson ties up at the near wall, and they work it through. Parker out to Borshev, his shot goes just wide. Too much time in the slot for Borshev. Now they work behind the net. Borshev got Moritz on him. Borshev goes around Moritz, gets to the front of the net, centers a pass, hit the stick of J.C. Moritz, and goes to the corner. One minute to play in period one. 2.40 to the double minor. Powell shot through traffic. Babin got a piece, didn't know where the rebound was. It popped out to the slot. Now it's Kyle Powell out of the corner, centered a pass, knocked away. Morgan chips it only as far as the blue line, but Murray worked it out of the defensive zone himself. Marker pushes it forward. Two on one with Morgan. Marker's in to Morgan. Pass over the stick of Adam Morgan and they never got a shot on net. Morgan picks it back up at the blue line and just rims it around the net with 33 to go to the period. Good hit by Morgan behind the net on Murray as they can kill this first two minutes in three seconds. Even if Binghamton scores, the power play will expire right there. They don't have to worry about having to kill a second penalty now. 20 seconds to the period. Binghamton Black Bears out the other way. Right through the defensive zone. Now the offensive zone is Ivichkin with speed, and the shot is covered by Trevor Babin. The backhand from Ivichkin seen the whole way by Trevor Babin. 11.9 to go in the first period of play. It's Newberg in the dot. Cangelosi lines up on the other side in the defensive zone. Newberg wins it to 
Becker, but Morris, he stepped up and made the play. Marker left wing side, centering pass for Morris. He chips it towards the net. That'll be a power play coming up for the Thunder. And Becker's not happy with the call. Probably should get an extra two here with all he's done this evening. Not sure how Becker's not going to get an extra two. But that will negate the rest of the power play. Four on four will play for a minute 39. Then Delaware will have a short power play. Shane Morris, he tried to go in between his legs getting the shot towards the goal. Couldn't pull the trigger because of the hook from Becker. They'll keep Babbitt in the cage for safety reasons, just in case. But 1.4 shouldn't be enough time to send it the distance. Face off to the left of Joe Shepard. If they can win it back to Morgan, he could get a shot on net here. Delaware's got five players on. There should only be four. Brady Hansen's going to go to the bench. Linesman Steve Cannon forces Marker back. He's trying to cheat forward. Cangelosi tried to win it forward. Shot never got through. Comes back out to the neutral zone after one period of play. 3-1 Binghamton Black Bears. We'll take a short break when we return. Second period action. Thanks for joining us on the Delaware Thunder YouTube channel. Delaware Thunder Hockey.
as they play Thunderstruck as the Delaware Thunder make their way back out onto the ice. You're listening to Delaware Thunder Hockey on the Delaware Thunder YouTube channel. DelawareThunder.com. Mike Basile along with you for the ride. It's a 3-1 hockey game, and we got a good one here for you. The Black Bears jumped out in front to a 2-0 lead. Then it was Ryan Marker on the power play, getting one back for your Delaware Thunder. And then right at the end of the period, getting that lead back to two, was Gino D'Angelo and the Binghamton Black Bears. Mike Brasile with Sue Lamb on the camera tonight. And we are good for hockey, period two coming your way. Once again, thanks so much for joining us. The YouTube comments always make our day here. We appreciate you stopping by and spending your Friday evening with us. Black Bear fan or not, yes, I'm kidding. We appreciate good Federal Prospects Hockey League action, and that's what we have here tonight in a 3-1 hockey game. The marker line back out with Morgan, and this time they'll switch it up and go with Shane Morrissey. But Delaware's got five players on the ice. It's a four-on-four. Four. So Morgan will go to the bench. And if you've been a fan of the Prospects Hockey League, you'll well know that Ryan Marker and Shane Morrissey will be very fun to watch for this opening shift. They'll go up against Newberg, Ivichkin, Murray, and Nosev. This should be fun hockey, four on four. Marker wins it, but Ivichkin's the only one there. Just staying on side is Newberg. He pops behind him for a shot that's steered away by Trevor Babin. Picked up at the near point by Troy Murray. Murray goes to Newberg. Newberg shot through traffic, hit J.C. Moritz. Babin reacted late, back to the front of the net. What a pass by Nosev, and it's tapped in by Ivichkin. It's 4-1. Right off the draw, the Black Bears gained entry. Pass came from Nosev to Avichkin, and he taps it home. It's 4-1. Delaware's got five players out there again. It's still four on four. Four one Black Bears. And the faceoff once again, one to that same spot to Ivichkin and Morgan gives Ivichkin a bump from behind but laid up, no penalty called. Ivichkin moves it through to Nosev. Nosev, Newberg, two on one. Nosev fires, good save, Babin, where is it? As he covers up for the whistle. It's right in the bread basket. And we got a problem with the clock here as it says Delaware is no longer shorthanded, but they are. I'm sorry, it's no longer four on four, but it still should be. Face off one out to the point. Now it's Eric Oganezov. Oganezov shot through traffic, swallowed up by Babin. He left the rebound there, and they score. <laughs> Igor Borshev, and it's 5 1 Black Bears. And here comes Mike Costantino. Babin looked like he had it swallowed up. It dropped free. And they tap home the rebound. It's 5-1, and that'll be all she wrote for Trevor Babin. This will be our first real look at Mike Costantino. It's a 5-1 hockey game. Now the Thunder will be up a man. Marker back at the point. His pass hit a wet spot in the ice. Nearly didn't get through to Liam Little. 1.15 of power play time for the Delaware Thunder. Taking a high stick is Little. Not sure how that went undetected by the official. And now this one goes all the way down for an icing. And Delaware is a bit sloppy early in the second. They give up two goals in less than 45 seconds and they trail 
Face off to the right of Mike Constantino now. The New Jersey native, Constantino, pops into the net. Played 57 seconds of time as that one's tipped just wide of him. He played 57 seconds of time when Trevor Babin had a skate blade loose. Now he's going to see plenty of time. It's a 5-1 game. He's got a tall task to keep the Thunder in this one. Came into camp as goalie number two. Left for a week. Injury to 10-2. As Bell works it out to the neutral zone. Little can't slip it any further than that, but it comes to Hanson. Got worked on, came back. Behind Babin for a couple games. Now he gets a chance. Marker right wing side gains entry. Ryan Marker looks for space. Tried to go out to the point to J.C. Moritz. The puck wouldn't settle for him, and now it's back out into the neutral zone. Delaware well offside as Little and Morgan were in the midst of a change. A frustrated Ryan Marker slaps the puck off the end wall as Delaware's down 5-1. Well, Delaware finished the second period strong. First period strong, my apologies. Came out into the second period with not much going for them. As the last 12 seconds of their power play will run off the clock. Morgan just chips it in deep. Oganezov with time. Smartly plays it through to Murray. And Murray just flips it out to the blue line. Kicked in by Dion and worked right back out by Murray. We're back even. Murray through the neutral zone. Spins it back. It goes on his backhand right behind the net. First one to it is Jens Peterson. Peterson behind the net on his backhand. He's got time. He goes out to the point. Peterson walks the line. Gave it away to Morgan. Morgan flips it free to Marker. Marker one-on-one -on -one with Shepard. Marker into the backhand. He scores! Ryan Marker. It's 5-2. Morgan to Marker. The m, m connection. And the Thunder are back in the game. It's a broken play at the blue line. Morgan frees it up for Marker who tries to get the crowd going. Cuts the lead back to three. Marker's got both of the Thunder tallies this evening. So smooth going to the backhand is Ryan Marker. I expected him to shoot. I'm sure Shepard did as well. Binghamton right back in the other way. It's Ivichkin. Ivichkin around a man. Ivichkin right in, but he couldn't pull the trigger. That was Hanson he worked around. Oh, what a move by Nikita Ivichkin. Hanson's shot hit the stanchion on the way in. Out the other way, it's a three on two. It's Nosev. Nosev right wing side, right around Bell. Shot off the pad of Constantino. Bell came in from Finland the other night, a bit sluggish to his Thunder start here. So there's Artem Alekin. Leaving it for Bell. Bell up the far wall, got it to Cangelosi. Cangelosi gave it away in the offensive zone. Not an offside as Delaware sent it back into the zone with the Black Bear on the offside position. Ivichkin centering pass all the way through to Powell at the point. Powell's shot well wide. Now it's Nosev, far point, fires a shot. Costantino, the pad, sends it to the corner. But Binghamton keeps the circulation going with Olesi. Gave it away to Brandon Lucchese. Lucchese's got some thunder out in the neutral zone. Lucchese right wing side with Alekin. Going to the net, centering pass, Cangelosi couldn't get any wood on it. Now it's Ivichkin, right back the other way. The pace heats up in this contest, it's 5-2. Good hit by Dale Dion, is trying to get to the slot was Ivichkin, but he was cut off there. 16-15 to go in the second, it's 5-2. Up the near wall, out starts the Thunder. Haven't seen Noah Wild much in this second period, just as I say that he hops out onto the ice. Yellow knee to the slot, lost it. Couple good hits from Tim Payne. Now Yellow knee centering pass, nobody home in a white jersey. And this will go all the way behind the Black Bears net where Shepard has two Delaware Thunder players bearing down on him. Oh, Gnazov takes a big bump from Noah Wild. That'll be a penalty on Wild. And then Wild takes a bump from Murray and he's gonna go as well. That should even things up. Wild still not happy with Oganazov for that hit from behind in the first period. as the two teams meet in the circle.
We'll see if any team comes short from this. 15.45 to go in the second. We've seen three goals in a short period of time in period two. See if Wild gets an extra two. They're going to play four on four, we say. Now the faceoff will be to the left of Shepard. Four on four hockey. Murray and Wild both going to go for a rough. Marker and Morrissey, it was the kiss of death earlier, talked about them being exciting to watch, then give up back to back goals. Face off one back by Igor Borshev. Marker picks it up at the far half wall. Tried to get it through to Morris. He cut off by Nosev, who's had quite the game this evening. Right wing side, Nosev gains entry, fires a shot. Off the glove of Constantino, off the crossbar and out the other way. Hasn't played a start in the entire season, and he comes in in the first shot from distance, off the glove and off the crossbar. Marker back the other way, shot save. Shepard McNally crashes the crease, but no rebound for big Joe Shepard. Shepard has a ton of size in cage for this Binghamton Black Bears team. Six foot four inches. As the Bears is on that crossbar as you see. To the right of Shepard, Lucchese wins it forward. Morgan got it going to the net. Now it's Eric Oganezov far side of the ice. Oganezov was traded to this Black Bears team from the Delaware Thunder. Josh Newberg, good hand-eye coordination, knocks it down. Got it to Ivichkin, right around Payne. Ivichkin, backhand, oh, what a save by Cosentino, and he covers for the whistle. Cosentino goes to the full splits, makes the stop. 45 seconds into five, a uh, four on four time. That is big by Constantino. Keeps this a three-goal game. We're going to get our media timeout. We'll take a break. When we return, more four-on-four -four action from the Thunderdome. Back here for more Delaware Thunder hockey. Delaware Thunder and the Binghamton Black Bears. And even five minutes into the second period, 115, a four on four play. Open ice for the Delaware Thunder. Face off one right back to Igor Borsev. And Constantino flaps the flipper out and makes the save. This is Dale Dion. Wearing the only letter for a Delaware Thunder. And that's the A. The veteran. Won an SPHL championship. But here he gives it away to Borshev. Binghamton goes to work. Far side of the ice. And they work it out to the point to Becker. Becker with a screen in front. Tip. Rebound. Shot never got through. It was tipped by Corey Sherman on the doorstep. Haven't seen much of him tonight. But a dangerous scoring attempt right away. Tim Payne behind the net, moves it through to Lucchese. Lucchese's going to work it up the near side of the ice, get it through to Adam Morgan, pass eludes him, and comes right back to Parker. Lucchese hassles him on the way through and finishes the check. Meanwhile, D'Angelo's in the other way, and a bouncing puck flutters wide of the cage. Now D'Angelo out to the point, Oganezov. Cross-ice pass, got it to Becker. Becker through traffic right into the chest of Constantino, and he looks good early in his entrance. I tell you, Kyle Powell 
Kenny Gornosev have been absolutely phenomenal tonight on the back end. Nosev, one of those guys that no matter where he is can get the puck on the net. And this is J.C. Moritz for Delaware working it out the far boards. Off sticks. Are they going to call the icing here? Yes, they will. It looked like it was tipped by Parker. Delaware won't get the luck of that call. Delaware without Ricky Eberhardt tonight. Played a few years at Morrisville State College. Brings a bit of grit to this team and had a couple goals in the first two games down in Carolina. Four on four done, we'll play five on five. 13.40 to go in the second period. J.C. Moritz has a puck go through him. Out to the neutral zone, Marker couldn't poke it past Nosev. Now it's Danny Cangelosi who's been solid tonight. He spills out to the floor. Shalafu walks in, shot save, bad rebound by Constantino, but he hops on it before Parker could. He left it in a dangerous area. That's why coach always says shoot the puck. Keep it low, get a rebound. Parker nearly found one there in a high scoring area. Constantino has now quadrupled his playing time in just the first few minutes here of the season. Like we said, came into camp, slated to be behind Anthony Pupolo, who retired after the weekend in Carolina. Becker's big shot blocked by J.C. Moritz on the way through. Moritz and Cangelosi both played at Newman together. This one's out to the neutral zone. Two on one, Morrissey and Marker. Marker going to the net. Morrissey drop pass. Marker shot it off the crossbar. Cangelosi the first to it. Morrissey again. Marker in front. Hit the skate of Murray. Never got through. Here comes Becker the other way for the Black Bears. Two on two. Becker and Murray. Becker shot right into the glove of Costantino and will get a whistle. Morrissey dropped it off for Marker who was going to the net. He flung it off the crossbar. Looking for a hat trick in period number two. Costantino awaits the face off to his left. Becker gets it pulled away from him and the shot is negated by the stick of Brady Hansen. Here's Adamo Asselin, haven't heard his name much tonight. He was acquired in a trade from Binghamton last weekend, but here he comes. Right wing side, top of the circle. Looks to the point, got it to the slot, shot by Noah Wild. Never got through off the skate of Oganezov. Back out to the point it comes. Hansen corrals a bouncing puck. Shot through traffic, tipped by Wild off the blocker of Joe Shepard. And here comes Ivichkin, who's taken down by Brady Hansen in a legal manner. Tom Bell, fresh here from Finland, rims it around to the near side where Ademo Asselin takes it, takes a bump, and gets it only as far as the blue line. Hand pass by White was next played by Liam Little in black, so they say play on. Now it's Nikita Avichkin waiting in his own zone and starting out with it. Finds a streaking Oganezov behind the play. Got Halesi going to the net. Pass to Newberg. Shot never got through. Hit Bell. Now it's Marker out the other way. Three on two. Works it to Morgan far side of the ice. Adam Morgan walks in and he shot it well wide. Off the lines, but it just comes out to the neutral zone. Tim Payne slowed it down for just a second. And now Delaware regroups. Adam Morgan again gains entry. Got Marker going to the net. Morgan in front to Marker. Never got through. Delaware pushing and pushing here. Out to the point, giving away to Borshev. Now it's Borshev left wing side. Igor Borshev spins one back, looking for Parker. Interrupted by Shane Morrissey. Morrissey to Marker. Marker over the blue line. Got Morrissey with him. Drop pass, Shane Morrissey. Now Adam Morgan shot, but save Shepard as he got the glove on it. Now Kyle Powell slows things down for this Black Bears team as the Marker, Morrissey, and Morgan combo. Created some high danger chances. No step the other way. Over to Parker, fires, good big save. There by Costantino, makes himself big in the crease and he got the shoulder up to it. 11.05 to play in the second period. This one all the way back out to the neutral zone where it's Murray. Murray cross ice, got No step. He chips it into no man's land where it's picked up by Tim Payne. Speaking with Tim Payne, compared his game uh, to actually an Islander here. Said he compares his style to Adam Pellick. Number three on the New York Islanders as J.C. Moritz rims it around. It's cut off and out the other way. Start the Black Bears. This is D'Angelo working on Moritz right by him. Shot with the long reach of Moritz. Got enough on it as that was the last gasp effort for J.C. Moritz. Centering pass. Shot was fanned on by Shalafu. He had too much time and space.
5-2. Binghamton Black Bears. Thunder looking to avoid an 0-5 start. Binghamton off to a red-hot start in their inaugural season. Lost their season opener. Since have won three straight. Two against your Delaware Thunder. And the other against the Watertown Wolves. As we always do, we'll get you caught up around the league. A couple tight contests after the first period. This one pops out to Cangelosi. Cangelosi's in free. He scores! Danny Cangelosi, it's 5-3. The puck popped free to the neutral zone. Cangelosi saw a bit of space, and he cuts the lead to two. Cosentino gets the call, makes a few big saves, keeps it close. And now the Thunder are right back in this one. Well, buckle up, we got a game here again, folks. A 5-1 game becomes a 5-3 game quickly with still over half the game to play, 10-09. To go in period two. And up here from the press box, you saw that little bit of net that Danny Cangelosi scored. Marker pulls the face off back to Morrissey. Morrissey back to Dion. Sets it up for Morrissey once more. Tries a shot as he couldn't corral the puck and it bounces back to the neutral zone to Tim Payne. Payne goes cross ice. Now Adam Morgan off his skate and Parker picks it up in the offensive zone. Tried a drop pass, didn't get through on the first try, but Peterson picks it up, then is shot from an off angle, off the blocker and into the protective netting, and will take immediate timeout. 9.50 to play, the crowd's back in it here in Harrington, Delaware. We'll be back in a gif. Welcome back, second period action. Delaware Thunder, Binghamton Black Bears. If you're just joining us, you've missed some action. Eight goals in half of a game. I had to help Sue out there. Face off to the right of Mike Constantino, pulled back by the Delaware Thunder. Boy, would they love to cut into this lead a little more in this second period, take a little bit of the pressure off in period three. Morrissey through the neutral zone to Marker, smartly on his backhand, just chips it behind the Binghamton net. After tonight, Delaware has some time off before a 3-3 three and three Thanksgiving weekend. Good defensive play by Tim Payne. Adam Morgan at the red line, couldn't pick it up. Now Tim Payne does at that same red line, and it's chipped forward by the Black Bears. No penalty call behind the play. Mackey to the slot, shot it high. Payne goes down. Appears to be okay. He was tripped up after the play. And Mackey's shot goes high and wide and out of play. Payne on the Thunder bench appears to be okay. Flexed it out a little bit on the way there. Now he's sitting next to his defensive partner, J.C. Moritz. Delaware has flipped and flopped their D partners tonight. As we said, we got a couple new faces here. Here's the third line, Lucchese, Alekin, and Cangelosi. Cangelosi's been very good tonight. Has the latest Delaware Thunder goal. Artem Alekin playing against his old team. Definitely would love to have an impact on this game. 
Borshev right around Bell. Backhand, back to the forehand, he scores. What a goal by Borshev. 6-3, and Cangelosi has some words for Borshev as he ran it to Costantino, who's down. Backhand, forehand, top shelf, 6-3. Cangelosi not happy about Costantino getting ran. Goal will stand. It was well after the goal. Halliken couldn't get the puck out. It all came back to that. And it's 6-3. They'll go to the marker line. Marker Morgan. And they'll go with Morrissey now. Morrissey's not happy about it either. As when you watch your goalie get ran, that's never good. Yellow knee pushes it forward. Coach Penn's not happy. Constantino appears to be okay, most importantly. Back to a three-goal game. Morgan gave it away in the high slot. Shalafu couldn't turn with the bouncing puck. Moritz up the near wall, got it to Adam Morgan. Morgan can't clear. Now it's Nosev. Too many chances for the Black Bears. D'Angelo in from behind the net. Tries to slide one under the pad of Mike Constantino, but he's having none of it. Remains a 6-3 contest. Faceoff stays deep in Thunder Ice. Newberg gets it pulled away by Shane Morrissey. McNally just keeps that on the playing surface as it rimmed around the wall. Shot from the point, seen the whole way by Constantino, dropped in front of him and covered for a whistle. Three goal game once again, Delaware fights back to make it a two goal game and an offensive zone turnover. Back the other way come the Black Bears, 6-3. Newberg wins it out to Murray at the point over the stick of J.C. Marich and Ivechkin picks it up in the corner. Ivechkin had Olesi in front off the skate of J.C. Marich in on his own goalie, Mike Costantino, who had to be ready. Bouncing puck, Newberg flaps at it twice before it goes well wide of the cage. Now it's McNally behind the net. McNally working on Ivechkin. Ivechkin and Olesi team up to poke it free to the near half wall. Morgan leaks out of the zone and the puck finds him. Ryan Marker poked it free, trying to find Morrissey, but the puck rolls on by to Murray. Left wing side, now it's the Black Bears gaining entry as they chip it behind the net. J.C. Moritz with 7.30 to go in period number two. Shoots it right up and out of play and that'll be a delay of the game on J.C. Moritz. It's a call you can't even argue. as Moritz will sit for two on delay of the game. And if Delaware can't kill this one, it could be the nail in the coffin. Aslan wins the face off to McNally, couldn't do anything with it, now it goes to Powell. Powell, cross ice, Murray. Murray, far side, works it down low. Now they go cross ice. Waiting for it is Parker. He knocks it down with a glove. McNally steps up on him before it rolls through to Sherman. Sherman, cross ice. Goes back behind the net and they make space. This is Igor Borshev. Now Parker. Got Powell at the point. He waits at the half wall. Continues to wait before moving it to Powell. Back to Parker. Creates some space for himself. Shot it right into the bread basket of Mike Costantino. And with 129 to the power play, We'll have an offensive zone faceoff for the Black Bears. It's Newberg in the dot. Tries to win it out to the point of Powell. It was cut off by Brandon Beard. He plays it to the neutral zone. Adamo Asselin was chasing it down, but Igor Nosev won the battle. Now it's Kyle Powell. Goes far side of the ice, got Nosev. Nosev, drop pass, got Ivichkin. 
Ivichkin cross ice, got Powell, but the puck never found him. It took a weird bounce off the wall. A Delaware home bounce, we'll say. Ivichkin behind the net. Starts the Jets through the neutral zone. Nikita Ivichkin, this guy can skate right through the neutral zone, right around Dion, and his shot was negated by the stick of Tim Payne. Now it's Olesi. Olesi tries coming out of the corner. Payne with a good defensive play. Bucks kicked forward. Out to the point it goes to Nosem. Adjusts. Works at far side of the ice. Powell. Now near side. Shot through traffic. Blocked by Dale Dion. And they're going to try and spring Shane Morrissey. But it was a heck of a defensive effort. By Kyle Powell. Now Dion starts it himself. Shot from an off angle. Swallowed up by Shepard. He wanted to play it. He never covered it. But he got a quick whistle with 29 seconds to go to the power play. Face off to the right of Newberg. It's pulled behind the net to Tyler Becker. Becker's going to start the breakout from there with just 20 seconds left to the power play. Marker applies the pressure, but Binghamton has no problem coming through the neutral zone. Parker centering pass, hit a stick on the way through, and they'll try and reset with just a few seconds left on the power play. Now it's Borshev. Got Murray in the slot, but the puck hit his skate and never got through to the net. Parker now. Works it down low, centering pass for Borshev, never got there. Becker with a good play to keep it in at the blue line. Now he walks that blue line. Centers a shot that's blocked by the way, Bell. Now a shot through traffic, Costantino, it's in him somewhere, and he covers for the whistle. Borshev took a stick up high, Payne apologizes. No bad blood out of that. Face-off will be to the left of Mike Costantino. Marker, Cangelosi, and Morgan is the line. It's one to Yellowney. Maritz and Yellowney battle in the corner as Cangelosi picks up the free puck. Off the skates of Adam Morgan, comes out to the point to Nosev, who had it roll on him, and on a delayed offside, it's just dumped right back in. Back out it comes into Binghamton ice. Five minutes even to go in the second period. Delaware trailing by three at the Thunderdome. Now it's McNally, back in his own end. Goes cross ice, pass was deflected by D'Angelo, and in on his own goaltender, Mike Constantino. Media timeout, give us 30 seconds, we'll be back. Back here for second period action, Delaware Thunder Professional Hockey on the Delaware Thunder YouTube channel. Thanks so much for enjoying your Friday evening with us from the Thunderdome. If you're sick of hearing my voice and you want to watch the game live, you can get your tickets at DelawareThunder.com. There's no party like a Thunderdome party. I can tell you that much. They kick Halleckin out of the dot. Send him all the way to the bench. As Delaware had six players on the ice. Ivichkin with the shot right off the draw. Changed direction. Constantino never saw it. Went wide of the cage. Now it's Murray near side of the ice. Chips it through. Pass Nick McNally on a delayed offside. Linesman Steve Gannon says. Steve 
It's going to be a full line change for the Thunder. Moritz is bleeding once again. All the Thunder fans have seen from Moritz is, is blood in that facial area. He's a trooper though, man. J.C. Moritz is as tough as they get. Artemalik had sprung to the neutral zone. Pass was behind Kanjalosi. He would have been in on all alone again. Here's Nikita Ivichkin, right wing side, working on pain, long reach like Adam Pellick. Pokes it to the corner. Out to the point, it's Murray. Quick shot high and dangerously wide as a headhunter. Makes Gangelosi and Lucchese both duck it. Payne uses Dion as an outlet. Dale Dion works to Cangelosi. Three on two out the other way. Cangelosi left wing side. Looks for space. Fires a shot wide. Dion thought about coming in, stopping it at the blue line. That puck had too much juice coming out of the zone. And now it's Tim Payne. Big forecheck by the Black Bears. All three players in the offensive zone. Dion sees that and plays it into space to Beard. Beard can't get around Murray. Now a centering pass gets through to Lucchese. Lucchese back to Beard. One timer cross ice looking for Asselin. Nobody home. Out the other way comes Becker and the Black Bears. They just play it to the neutral zone. It was a pretty, pretty three on two. But unfortunately for Delaware, nothing comes of it. Asselin's pass read like a book. Out the other way. Two on two. Borshev waiting for reinforcements. Feathers went through the net. Stick tied up by Tim Payne. Payne takes one right on the hands. That's going to be a slash on Borshev. And Delaware will go up a man. See, this is one I never understand. You got the ref standing right next to it, letting it go, and the ref out in the neutral zone makes the call. Face-off will be to the left of Joe Shepard. 3.21 to go in the second. Big power play for the Delaware Thunder. Marker wins it forward to Adam Morgan. Shane Morris, he picks it up at the half wall. Cut off by Nosev. Once again, he's been phenomenal tonight. Dale Dion, kick save at the blue line. Keeps it in for the Delaware Thunder. That's a good play by Dion. That's a veteran play. Bouncing puck. Don't get your glove down in time. Get your stick on it. Now it's Dion. Shot from the point. Morgan got a piece and Shepard covers. It is indeed a Thunder power play. Thank you very much, Kraus. We're enjoying Delaware Thunder hockey from the Thunderdome tonight. You could be here too, Delaware Thunder. Dot com. Get your tickets. The Thunder have a bye next weekend. But then a 3-3. Three and three. Binghamton, Binghamton, Danbury. Right here at the Thunderdome. Dion through traffic. Morgan tipped it high. The Let's Go Thunder chant erupts from the crowd. They know how big this power play is as the puck comes back through the neutral zone. Dion spins back into his own zone. Gives it to Ryan Marker. Ryan Marker. Now Shane Morrissey. Morrissey been a bit quiet tonight. Created a few good chances. Need his name on the score sheet. Morrissey takes a hack on the hands right as he enters the zone. Didn't look too happy as to no call there. With one minute to go on power play time. 2.15 to period two. Puck comes right through the neutral zone. Nobody home in a black jersey except Kyle Powell in white. And he sends it. Only as far as the red line. It's a good play by Dale Dion to knock it down there. Dion spins it to Adam Morgan. Morgan, now Adamo Asselin. Gives it off to Shane Morrissey. Shane Morrissey, left wing side, gains entry to Bingham tonight. Got it through to Adam Morgan. Morgan off angle, shot blockered away by Shepard. Smartly, Shepard thought about covering, poked it to Nosev, who clears it the distance. That's a smart play by your goaltender. Instead of taking the dangerous offensive zone faceoff, you get a clear. Good kick pass by Morgan. Frees up Ryan Marker. Looking for the hat trick. Wrap around for Marker. He has it under the pads of Shepard. Where is it? Covered up. Shepard made a huge save going left to right. Marker started to celebrate as he thought it crossed the line. And oh my. Post to post. Big Joe Shepard makes the save with eight seconds left on the power play.
Cangelosi, Wild, and Alekin will finish it up front in the last eight seconds. Alekin taken down as he spins it back to Moritz. Moritz couldn't get it past Danny Cangelosi, who kept it in at the blue line. And the linesman said no. Cangelosi not happy, knocks the stick out of Murray's hands. Now these two have a chat. And the Thunder bench erupts. Noah Wild and Gannon having a talk, the linesman. Power play officially expired right as they went offside. Five on five hockey for possibly the last 115. We'll find out what these two teams meet. Costantino blockered the shot away from Peterson that he saw last second. That shot he had a good view on goes well wide from Oganezov. Peterson keeps it in the zone. Newberg's gonna go. That's a dirty play by Newberg. Slash in the neutral zone on Cangelosi. Now Newberg takes out Wild going to the net. Wow, a couple dangerous plays by Newberg. Cangelosi in the shot. Save, rebound by Shepard. Sits free. Touched by the Black Bears and will get a whistle. I believe it's the slash on Newberg, the original and the only call. We'll get the call here. It is going to be Newberg. It's a high stick. Looked like it was a slash from our angle, but they'll get him for the high stick. And Delaware will have 46.8 of power play time and carry over if it doesn't work in that first 46.8. Newberg's in the box for a high stick. And the faceoff's pulled back to Dale Dion. Dion works it over to Marker. Marker, top of the circle. Dion, one time, and right into the breadbasket of Shepard. No traffic in front for the Delaware Thunder. Face off to the right of Shepard. Been good in this contest. It's a tough game for a goalie when you gotta get hot then quiet, hot then quiet and that's what it's been. Delaware's had their flurries, then gone quiet for a bit and Shepard's answered the bell. 25 seconds. Left in the period as Shane Morrissey starts up left wing side. Aston PA native, very close to this Thunder team. You remember the name? Probably from the Danbury Hattricks team. Centering pass from Morrissey, never got through. In skates, cut off by Lucchese. Eight seconds to the period. Puck is cleared all the way down the ice. And that should do it for the second period of play. 114 of carryover power play time for the Delaware Thunder. They'll need to score on that. They trail by three going into period number three. We'll be back. Delaware Thunder Pro Hockey on the Delaware Thunder YouTube channel. Thanks for joining us. Third period action in a GIF.
And welcome back into the Delaware Thunder studio, Delaware Thunder Professional Hockey on the Delaware Thunder YouTube channel. Just want to get you quickly caught up around the Federal Prospects Hockey League while we have a minute here. And thank you for tuning in tonight because we really do appreciate the support all around the league. Like we said, whether you're a fan of the league, fan of the Black Bears, or fan of this hometown, Delaware Thunder, we appreciate the support that we have gotten all season long. And the crowd who comes out makes it rowdy. Dan Mary's up 6-3 to three on Port Huron late in the third period. And after two, Columbus is up 2-1 to one on Carolina. We got close games all around the Federal Prospects Hockey League tonight. As always, we'll keep an eye on them for you. Tomorrow, the Thunder are off. The Binghamton Black Bears are in action at home against the Watertown Wolves. Man, this Binghamton team has traveled quite a bit early in this season. Delaware won't have a game for a week and a half until after Thanksgiving break, we will be back for a 3-3 three and three where we expect to see you here at the Thunder Dome. We'll take a break when we return. Third period action on the Delaware Thunder YouTube channel.
Well, if you've watched NFL Red Zone, you know what time it is. It's that late time in the fourth quarter, except it's the third period here. Hockey, third period action from the Thunderdome, Delaware Thunder and the Binghamton Black Bears. It's the witching hour. Mike Constantino gave up just one goal in that second period of play coming in cold. Played pretty much the full period, came in at the 1904 mark. The ice is freshly cut. The Delaware Thunder and the Binghamton Black Bears are out on the ice. The only thing they need to do, turn on the lights and we'll be ready for third period action. As we still await those lights to come up, Shane Morrissey, Ryan Marker, Adam Morgan. With Lucchese at the point. Thunder are up a man for 114. Looks like we are still waiting for the lights to get on. Got to pop them back on before we can get going in period number three. We await the lights. Period number three, just about ready to get started. Trying to wave down someone here to get the lights on. Now we finally got the go on the lights here. Poor Gary over there doesn't know which switch the lights are. But we need to get the lights on. Here comes Brian over to turn on the lights. And we will have hockey this third period. Remember back to that Devils Islanders preseason game where the lights never came on. Couldn't get that started. Delaware will go right to left on your streaming channel. Whether you're streaming on Roku, your laptop or your phone. Morrissey into the offensive zone, left it, nobody home, and here's Borshev the other way. Borshev two on one, working to the offensive zone. Lucchese with a great back check, forces Borshev around the net. Borshev stays strong on the puck, spins it all the way back to the neutral zone. That's a good play shorthanded, and the shot from Powell gets out on the cage. Ivichkin takes a hip check from Dale Dion. Haven't seen a hip check thrown in quite some time. Morgan slowed it down for Marker. Marker picks it up behind him. Right wing side, Marker gains entry. Marker tried to drop it off for Lucchese, nothing doing. Marker knocks it down at the half wall. Pokes it out to Lucchese, dangerously. Here's Nikita Ivichkin the other way. Ivichkin left wing side, fires a shot. Stopped by Costantino and slashing called on J.C. Moritz. Coach Penn's unhappy with the call. When these two teams meet, we'll have to check, but it's got to be a record penalty. Minutes between these two teams. Oh, my goodness. Try to do the quick math in your head, but once again, these two teams have not played much four, five on five. 15 seconds of four on four now before a Black Bear power play. That could put an end to this night, and that's why Coach Benz is so upset. Avichkin got the shot off clean. Slash might have been late, as Morrissey can't drag through. Borshev out the other way, played it off the skates of Avichkin. It comes back to Borshev. Borshev's shot blocked on the way through. Now it's Newberg, half wall. 
Newberg rims it around behind in the net. It's a power play for the Black Bears in front. Murray had a jump on him. He was all alone. Three on one for the Thunder, short-handed. Morgan got Morrissey with him. Morgan from an off angle right off the shoulder of Shepard. Morrissey tried to center it, nothing doing. Marker short-handed, retreats back into his own zone, spilled down to the ice. Nothing called as Marker was taken down from behind. Now it's Morgan. Left wing side shot saved by Shepard. Covers and decides to now play it. That's what he tried to do the first time. Now it's Kyle Powell. Powell moves it forward to Newberg. Newberg gains entry. Top of the circle. Fires a shot off the side of the net and out of play. Faceoff will stay deep in Thunder Ice. Sue the camera. We're good. Sorry about that. Got that figured out for you. As the puck goes out to the point, Kyle Powell. Powell down low to Olesi. Now it's Newberg. Out to the point, Olesi. Down low, Newberg once again. Looking for the cross-ice pass. No Sev, not available. Now it's Newberg. Down low. Olesi has some time. Goes cross ice. Now out to the point, it's Kyle Powell. Powell threw traffic right into the breadbasket of Costantino. 27 seconds left to the power play at 6-3 Binghamton. Cangelosi knocks down his man, Borshev, right off the dot. Now it's Powell, top of the point. Powell looks through traffic, moves it over to Parker. Parker centering pass, shot was blocked on the way through. Good play by Payne to smartly corral it, put it down, and send it the distance. Delaware trails by three as they kill the penalty. Three minutes in to period number three, Delaware trails by three, and they'll look to start the comeback after a successful kill. It's Brady Hansen in the near corner. Nothing doing for Hanson. He ties up, but he kicks it free to Artem Alekin. Marker was waiting out in the neutral zone. Never got to him. Constantino didn't see the shot. That never got through. Now it's Adam Morgan. Goes cross ice. Got it to Marker off of Binghamton Black Bears stick. That was Murray. Now Murray's right through the neutral zone. Marker walks by. Fires a shot, and Shepard's got it. No questions asked. Face off to the right of Big Joe Shepard. Delaware's looking for a comeback. They trail by three. Face off one to Morrissey and he shot it wide. Now it's McNally, moves it down low, Morgan. Morgan, bouncing puck, tries to corral it. Morrissey does right at the blue line on a delayed offside, they say. As it looked like from here, that puck just did get over as the linesman was right on it. Marker was looking for the hat trick all alone in front. Face off one out to Payne. Payne goes to Morgan. Morgan chips it through the neutral zone and deep into Binghamton Black Bear ice. Shalafu off his stick. Marker shot at Shepard was caught off guard but still got a stick on it. Now it's Morgan. Tries to center it. Nobody home. And it's just played right through the neutral zone by Shalafu. Payne works it over to Dale Dion in the defensive zone. Dion tipped the pass to Adam Morgan as four minutes have come and gone in this period. Black Bears up by three as they ice the puck. Midway through this third period. Well, all three times the ice teams have met so far, including tonight, the Black Bears have brought that physical edge to the contest. And that's what they did to get their first win against Watertown. And it kind of takes you off your game if you're the Delaware Thunder. And it gets you thinking. Oganezov intercepts the pass. Payne slips down in the neutral zone. 
Yellow knee was behind the defense, but he went unidentified by Oganezov as that one came dangerously close up to the press box as I was leaning over. Now it's Tim Payne. Drops it off Dale Dion. Dale Dion looks to break out of his own zone, and he gets a delay of the game penalty. Or will he? Or will the Thunder get a break here? And they'll say that this nipped the glass. Didn't look like from up here it nipped the glass. But they say it does. And Delaware will take that. McNally behind the net. Spins it around. No Sev knocked it down. But it hit off his skate and comes out to the neutral zone. Newberg and Cangelosi cancel each other out at center ice. And McNally spins it back into the defensive zone to Moritz. Moritz couldn't handle the pass from McNally. And now he spins it up the near wall, up and out of play. That one definitely off the stanchion. Pucks are flying everywhere tonight. Free souvenirs, and you could get them if you're here. Tickets at DelawareThunder.com. Looks like one last call for food here. The Coach's Cafe. There's Liam Little. Haven't seen much of him yet in this third period. I know it's still early. Puck rimmed around. McNally takes a low bump. Pops right back to his feet, which is good to see. Aslan gets the puck pushed right by him. Noah Wild puts a check on in the neutral zone and tips it to avoid the icing. Noah Wild in on Murray. Never afraid to throw the body, but Murray got there a bit too quick for Wild. Now the puck all the way back into Thunder Ice with J.C. Moritz, another local. This one's going to go down. If it has the juice, it's an icing, and yes, it does. Becker got there before Wild, and these two meet behind the net. And we'll take immediate timeout. 6-3 Black Bears. We'll be back. And we're back here on the Delaware Thunder YouTube channel, DelawareThunder.com, YouTube.com. Thanks so much for joining us here on your Friday evening. Mike Basile with Sue Lamb on the camera this evening. It's a 6-3 Black Bears lead as we're at the 14-32 mark of period number three. Face off one back to Ivichkin. I apologies, that's Parker right into the glove of Costantino. A rare set of five on five for both teams. Haven't seen much of that in this contest. Face off one right back to Parker right off the face off. We have an interference call. Not sure who they're gonna get. Looks like the new guy, Jens Peterson. Peterson not happy with the call, and when these two teams meet, if you see five-on-five five hockey, it's a rarity. Special teams, special teams, special teams. Lucchese pulls it back, but nobody in a black jersey there. Now it's Costantino behind the net. Costantino doing his best Wayne Gretzky impersonation. Plays it to himself, gave it away, gets back into the crease. Dangerous play there by Mike Costantino. Right wing side, Ryan Marker looking for the hat trick. Walks right in, fires off sticks and up and out of play. It is indeed a power play for the Delaware Thunder. Thank you, Kraus. 14.04 to play in the third period. 
Black Bears edging out your home Delaware Thunder, six to three. Lucchese wins the face off to Morrissey. Becker picks his pocket, but Morgan knocks it down there. Clearing attempt negated by the stick of Shane Morrissey. Lucchese tries to poke it three. Morrissey rims it out to the point. Dion dangerously steps up, but makes a good defensive play. Now Morrissey at the point. Dale Dion. Dion walks the line, works it over Marker. Top of the circle, Ryan Marker over to Dion. Dion, top of the point. Goes cross ice, Morrissey. Morrissey fakes the shot, down low, Morgan. Centering pass, oh, what a save by Shepard. Down goes Lucchese in front, taking a high stick. Marker cross ice, Morrissey. Morrissey back in front, couldn't get it to Lucchese. Out to the point, Dion. And Dion smartly just passes it through. And Newberg's gonna sit for the high stick. More penalties, no surprise. Just a two minute minor for a high stick. And the penalties continue to rack up in this contest. Five on three for Delaware, they won't complain. A smart veteran play by the SPHL champion, Dale Dion, just moving that puck over. Marker's got two, looking for his third. Cangelosi has the other. Murray smartly just pins it up behind the net with no outlet there. Comes free to Adam Morgan. Morgan tugged on from behind, but the puck comes through to Morrissey. Morrissey over to Marker. The let's go Thunder chance starts to erupt. Marker over to Morrissey. Now Dale Dion. Dion space tip just goes wide. Marker and Powell meet in the corner. Marker spins off Powell. Centering pass knocked down by Borshev and cut off at the blue line by Marker. Marker over to Dale Dion. Dion with space. Walks in. Moves it over to Morrissey. Tips one off the crossbar. Backhand goes off the crossbar. Morrissey back out the other way looking for Marker and it jumps his stick out to the neutral zone. 10 seconds left to the five on three. Marker inside out to man. Pulls it back out to the point and sets thing up. Marker top of the circle. Over to Morgan. Morgan sets it up. Shot off the post. And the Thunder can't get either to go. A couple bad bounces for the Thunder. A crossbar and a post in a matter of seconds. Now it's normal five on four power play. Morrissey cross ice. Intercepted and cleared the distance. Just been one of those nights for the Thunder. Post and the crossbar. And it still remains a three goal game with 40 seconds to play on the power play. Morgan tips it in at the red line. He tried to accept the pass, didn't get enough on it though. Marker intercepts the clearing attempt. Morgan centers it out to Moritz, fires good, blocked by Corey Sherman. That's selling out for your team. You know a blocked shot is as good as a goal in some situations and up six to three in the third, that's one of them. Here comes Alekin centering pass, looking for Cangelosi, nothing doing. Here comes now Novichkin the other way. Nikita Ivichkin working on Moritz right by, and Moritz with that long poke reaches back and makes the play. Now he gets his pocket picked by Ivichkin. Moritz has it picked right back. Bodies collide in the neutral zone. Delaware's out the other way. Alec into Marker. Marker with space. Good glove save by Shepard with traffic in front. Eleven sixteen to go in the third period. Black Bears with the three goal lead. The Thunder faithful still behind their team. Marker and Cangelosi trying to figure out what's going on here. Marker's going to go to the bench. Trying to figure out this situation here as Becker pops onto the ice. There are only four Black Bears. Ivichkin's having a skate repair on the away bench. This seems to be an avoidable problem. We get it sorted out with 11.16 to go in the third. Some hacking and whacking between Becker and Alekin. 
Comes out to the point to McNally. McNally plays it through to Alec and takes a bump from Parker. Pops right back to his feet. Puck comes out to the neutral zone and it's sent right back in to Black Bear Ice where it's Eric Oganezov. Delaware had his rights during the offseason, traded him to the Binghamton Black Bears. Now Powell just works it out the far side. Brady Hansen knocks it down there. Hansen off bodies, plays it back into Binghamton Ice. 10.50 to go. The clock now against the Delaware Thunder for sure. Becker far side of the ice to Powell. Powell left wing side, gains entry, shot blocked. Becker picks it up. Becker walks to the circle, fires a shot high off Constantino, stung him a bit. Now he pops back to his feet. Oganezov walks the line, fires one high. Becker picks it up at the half wall, nearly threw it off the official. Hansen takes a bump. Olesi plays it out to the front. Constantino with a swipe. Pokes the puck off Newberg's stick and right into his paraphernalia. Six to three hockey game, 10-24 to go in the third period. Delaware right in this one. A post and a crossbar kept it a three goal game. This could be a two goal game right now. Bouncing puck comes right through center ice where it's Dale Dion picking it up. Dion works it far side of the ice. It's Liam Little through the neutral zone. Little centering pass off skates and it comes to Lucchese who shot it off the pads of Shepard. Good back check by Newberg to force it off the stick of pain and right back out to the neutral zone. Bouncing puck goes right by Adamo Asselin. He's got to retreat to his own zone to pick it up. Dale Dion's clearing attempt hits Liam Little right at the red line to negate an icing and Little picks it up in the near corner. Little chips it behind the net. Coming to that puck is Adamo Asselin. Asselin, near corner, works it out to the front of the net. Off bodies, comes free to Dale Dion. Dale Dion fakes the shot, creates some space in front. Lucchese scores! 6-4. There's life at the Thunderdome. His first pro goal, all smiles for Brandon Lucchese. And it's 6-4. Shots on net never hurt the Wiley veteran. Dale Dion knows that. Delaware Thunder hop, and it's 6 4. Face off one by the Black Bears. 6 4 game, different tune for the rest of this one now. Oh, just imagine if the post and crossbar weren't there. Could have been a one goal contest. We'll stand at two and I know the Thunder will take it. They're right back in. Morrissey with Morgan. Backhand, Morrissey saves Shepard. Rebound came all the way out to Moritz at the point. Sent it back down low, Adam Morgan. This line's look good together when they've played. Morgan shot in the pads of Shepard. Out the other way come the Black Bears. This is Borshev. They just stay on side. Shot save, Costantino. Rebound again, they score. The Black Bears come right back and score. Close to an offside play. They say it's onside. And the Black Bears make the Thunder play 7-4. The Delaware bench far from happy, that's deflating. Six to four game, come back, make it seven to four. Play was offside, it seemed. But they'll say D'Angelo straddled that blue line. And keep it onside. Murray up the far wall, back under play here. Now it's Liam Little, up the near wall. 8.45 to go in the third, still waiting on our second media time out of the period. Payne intercepts the pass. That could have came out the other way. Now it's right through the neutral zone. Dale Dion picks up the ball at the half wall. He plays it out to the point. Murray's shot negated there. Comes back out to this high slot where it ends up out into the neutral zone. And this is a great play by Murray here. Murray played it off the wall to himself to avoid Liam Little having a free break out the other way. This is Ademo Asselin. His shot right into the stick and bounces up into the stomach 
of Josh, Joe Shepard, my apologies. 8.14 to go, immediate timeout. We'll be back in a jam. Back here, third period action. Delaware Thunder Hockey, Mike Basile with Sue Lamb alongside you. Seven to four hockey game from the Thunderdome. Brandon Beard in for the offensive zone faceoff. Beard a penalty killing specialist. This one comes out to the neutral zone. Nikita Ivichkin. Picks it up with Bell swinging down on him, and he makes a good play to force Ivichkin to the outside. Ivichkin banks it off the boards to himself. Try to centering pass. Nobody home in a white jersey. Noah Weil tries to work it out through center ice. Poked away by Newberg. He takes two thunder down with him as Cosentino plays it through the neutral zone. Puck behind the net. Kyle Powell with it. Powell's had quite the game tonight. Logs a ton of minutes for this Black Bears team. Power play and penalty killer. Ivichkin to the high slot. Working on Dale Dion. Pack check from behind by Brandon Beard. Never got the shot off. Olesi's centering pass. Hits the back of the net. Comes right back to Dale Dion at the near corner. Dion spins off a man. So good at creating space for himself. Dion right through center ice. Got Cangelosi in behind the defense. Cangelosi fires. He scores! Danny Cangelosi! It's a two-goal game once more! Dale Dion with an absolute stripe of a pass. Finds Cangelosi behind the play for his second of the night. Well, if you like high scoring games, you're welcome. If you like goaltenders, go tune into the Carolina game. Crazy, crazy hockey. As we get uh, an offside whistle late here. Morrissey's not happy about something. But when these two teams meet, it doesn't seem like anyone's very happy for long. Marker in the dot. Pulls it back to Nick McNally. We haven't said his name much tonight, but as a defenseman, that's usually a good thing. Marker dumps it in. Don't see Marker do that too much. Marker's a big carry player. This time he decides to just dump it in behind the net. Off sticks, that jumps out of play. 7-5 hockey game, Delaware's sticking around all night. A couple defensive breakdowns that you can't have, and this is a 5-5 game. I will say credit where it's due because this Binghamton Black Bears team have let this game get close and then made it that three goal game again. They have responded to the adversity quite well. Marker through traffic, saved by Shepard. 7-5 hockey game. Looks like a baseball score. Morgan behind the net. Centers it, nobody home. All the way back out to the neutral zone, Nick McNally. McNally a fan favorite already at the Thunderdome. It's got to be the hair. Puck rimmed all the way around. Marker waits for it there, and he picks it up. Try to centering pass. Nobody home. Shalafu pokes it by McNally. Two on one if they hurry. Shalafu fires a shot into the glove of Mike Cosentino, who gets a roar from the Thunder crowd. Face off to the right of Mike Cosentino. Came in and did a very, very 
very solid job shutting down this Black Bears team. Gave up just the two goals thus far in nearly two periods of play. He's gonna need to keep that door closed if the Thunder want a chance in this one with six minutes to play. We got another close contest between the Black Bears and the Thunder with six minutes to go in period number three. Make sure you stick with us here until the final whistle. Behind the net, it's Nikita Ivichkin. Out to the point, Nosev. Nosev walks the line, walks the line. Shot blocked by Kangelosi. Gets a roar from the Thunder bench. Puck comes behind the net, popped out to the slot. Nosev, good toe drag to the backhand. Tried a shot over to Powell. And it's swallowed up by Constantino, who was waiting and waiting for the referee's whistle. Approval that he had it covered. Well, as we talked about, this Thunder team will be off next weekend before coming back home for a three and three. Becker picks it up at the far wall. Centering pass, nobody home. Behind the net, this is Igor Borshev. This time the centering pass sits in the blue paint and a spinning backhand by Parker just goes wide. Moritz floats it through the neutral zone. Becker has his pocket picked by Marker and he picks it up in the near corner. Marker spins off Becker. Howard on his backhand, spins to the forehand. Out to the point, Dale Dion one time or Puck wouldn't sit for him. Now out of Morgan, McNally at the point. Morgan back at the far half wall. Centering pass tipped by Morrissey. Comes out to the slot. And it's knocked down and started out the other way by Borshev. Borshev keeps the Black Bears on side. They gain entry. Quick shot save, Costantino. That was on Parker. Then Parker spins a no look backhand dangerously back into the blue paint. And it's just padded down by Costantino. Now it's Dale Dion. He goes back to Nick McNally. McNally. Marker's asking for it. Marker gets it. Marker chips it in deep. McNally the first to it, tries a centering pass. Morgan was alone in the slot. Pass never got to him. Now out the other way, the pass eludes the stick of Nikita Ivichkin, but winning the race is Parker. Centering pass, Ivichkin. Oh, what a save by Cosentino. Back the other way, Marker. Three on three. Marker fakes the shot, creates space right into the bread basket of Joe Shepard. Media timeout, 4-11 to play. Keep it in your pocket. That save from Cosentino. We'll be back. It's a dogfight here at the Thunderdome. 4 11 to play, a two goal hockey game. Back and forth hockey all night. This Black Bear team has been impressive in their inaugural season. Just four games in, I get it, but this is a three and one hockey team. McNally just keeps the blue line, but the puck ends up back out in the neutral zone. Moritz starts it up the near wall. And the Thunder gain entry. Aslan's pass never found the stick of Lucchese. The ice is choppy late in this third period. A lot of hockey. The shot from Ivichkin bounces off the top of the glass, just stays in play. Aslan plays it out to the neutral zone. Lucchese offside, dropped it back to Aslan, but he was a step in front of the play. Lucchese's been good. Scored a goal in his first outing. Throwing the body around. And a center. A lot of good assets that any team would take. Especially this Thunder team right now. They need goal scoring. And they've gotten from Lucchese. Cangelosi has two. Marker has two. Lucchese has a lone tally. 
Face off one to Dale Dion, number nine with the A on his jersey for your Delaware Thunder. Morgan wins the race behind the net. Slows it down, goes around to Tim Payne. Tim Payne at the half wall, banks it off a few skates. And this one sent all the way down. Will it have the legs for an icing? Yes. Like we said, end of the third period, you really never know. 3.20 to go in this contest. We talked about it a week off for the Thunder here. It is their bye week with the odd team schedule. Every team will have that. And then after that, you better get back to the Thunderdome because we got a three and three. And Military Appreciation Night is November 27th. Wishing everyone a happy Veterans Day Thursday as well. Everyone who served and is serving now, we appreciate the sacrifice you make and made for this country. Puck comes out to Adam Morgan, top of the circle. Now it's Tim Payne. Payne gives it away. And a bouncing puck ends up back in Thunder Ice. Not going to have the legs for an icing. 2.55 to play. We'll keep an eye on Costantino for you. He's at the other end of the ice still. Marker gave it away to D'Angelo. And Sherman's in the other way. Sherman's shot goes wide to Costantino. Morgan waits for it and finds a streaking Shane Morrissey. Off his skate. Given away. Adam Morgan forces a turnover. And these teams just play giveaway in the neutral zone. Powell and Marker meet. Marker wins the battle. Marker out of the corner. Shot saved by Shepard. Had Morrissey all alone in front. Now Marker spins off a man. Shot through traffic. Gets to Morgan behind the net. Tries to wrap one home. Sat free in the low slot for just a second before it sent the distance by the Black Bears. Puck jumped up on edge. Won't make it down for an icing. J.C. Moritz flutters one through the neutral zone. Knocked down by Marker, but Powell wins the foot race. Give it away to Shane Morrissey. Morrissey tried a quick pass to Marker after faking the slap shot. Puck never got there. Now it's a Damo Asselin. Played it back out to the point. It was vacant, and now Ryan Marker. Quick head fake, just like Frank Gore back in the day. Marker has his shot blocked down, and Morrissey picks it up. Morrissey out of the corner. Shot from an off angle. Surprise, Shepard. But that big body made the save. 1.30 to go. Constantino still in the crease. We'll see when they get him out. Costantino looking over, raising the stick. This one's coming right in on him. Good thing he didn't leave just yet. As that would have found its way into the empty net. Marker out the other way. Right wing side, fires a shot blocked by Becker. Costantino to the bench. Poked around, Dion and out to the neutral zone. Payne picks it up back in his own end. Moves it over to Lucchese. Lucchese gets the red line, chips it through. Dale Dion. Works it over to Asselin. Asselin's got Marker cross ice, but he's taken out by Murray before he can get the pass there. Marker behind the net. Works it over to Morgan. Morgan cross ice, got Dale Dion. Six on five, shot swallowed up by Shepard. Dion got it through traffic. We'll see if the Thunder take a timeout in a 7-5 hockey game. Delaware will take a timeout. You know what that means. We'll take a timeout. 47 seconds to play. Delaware Thunder Professional Hockey, Delaware Thunder YouTube channel. Thanks again, everyone, for joining us this evening. It was a fun time. If you're a Binghamton fan or a Delaware Thunder fan, great action tonight. Still 45 seconds to go. Game's not over yet. Marker fires a shot. 
Saved by Shepard. Now Morrissey from an off angle. Tried to squeak it by Shepard, but to no avail. Puck comes behind the net. It's Lucchese. Lucchese over to Morgan. Centering pass. Got Cangelosi in the pads of Shepard. Sits free. Comes all the way out to the point. Dion over to Marker. One-timer. He fanned on it. He has a lot of net. Morrissey tries to bank it home. Nothing doing. Comes out to the point. Near half wall. Ryan Marker moves it over to Cangelosi. Cangelosi gets it to Morrissey. Morrissey behind the net with it. Finds Adam Morgan. Morgan from an off angle. He scores! Adam Morgan cuts the lead to one with 10 seconds left. It's not over yet. One more rush for the Thunder. Giving them hope here. The off angle shot surprise Shepard. Who looks upset. And even 10 seconds to go on the clock. We'll see if Binghamton will take a timeout now. Delaware keeps it a six on five. We'll see what Marker does in the dot. Marker pulls it back. Nobody home in a black jersey. Dion goes back and gets it, spins it up the wall. Lucchese behind the net, nearly given away. And time will run out on the Delaware Thunder as they fall seven to six to the Binghamton Black Bears. These teams have played close contest after close contest. Two one goal games and a two goal game. And the Binghamton Black Bears get the better of your Delaware Thunder in all three of those contests. Delaware falls to 0-5 on the season. Improving to 4-1 are the Binghamton Black Bears. Cangelosi over to the crowd, giving some props to the fans for coming out tonight. And that's exactly what you love to see from this Thunder team. Win or lose, they're here for the fans. Thanks so much for joining us this evening. Thunder Hockey on the Delaware Thunder YouTube channel. Black Bears 7. Delaware Thunder 6, Mike Basile signing off for the evening. Have a wonderful night.